Today we're going to do a little tutorial on how to do line animations using Haiku Animator. This uh, technique is also called Trim Paths in Adobe After Effects, if you're more familiar with that. Essentially, we're going to create the experience of seeing a line animate across the screen and kind of draw itself. We don't have full UI support for this yet, but we would like to add that in the future, so please let us know if you're interested. But today I'm going to show how you can achieve this technique using good old CSS stroke dash array and stroke dash offset. So let's go ahead and jump into sketch and make something to animate. Let's go ahead and draw uh, a curly Q line here. These must match up. Mm, good enough. Ooh, that, I, that's really bugging me, but I'm just gonna try to go with it. All right, and of course this needs a color. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and animate this thing. Oops. Give it a name, export it, and it should be in here. All right, let's animate it. So we're gonna start by adding a couple properties here. We're gonna go down to the curly queue and go to its actual path here and add stroke dash array. And we're gonna add stroke dash offset. Now these two properties are fairly esoteric and a bit uh, interesting to learn how to use to achieve this technique. Um, but there's a good article by Chris Coyier on CSS tricks that I will point you to via a link in the description if you'd like to learn more. Um, but I'll go ahead and explain it the best I can. So we're going to try to create a dash that is the same length as this entire line. So we can go ahead and start messing around with numbers here in the stroke dash array. And you can see that now these dashes are this length. And if I bump it up a little bit, they're going to be longer. If I double that, they're going to be even longer. But we need to get quite a bit longer here. So let's just go ahead and keep increasing this until we have one dash that is the same length as the entire line. So that looks like it's the entire line. Let's go ahead and just check with zero. So that's 1400. Let's go ahead and start with that. So now we have one dash that's the length of our entire line. And that's what we want. And now we're going to move this dash off the path via the dash offset and make it not visible at all. So we're going to do that by moving at the same length of the line, which you guessed it is 1400, which we just figured out with guess and check. And that's the only way you can do it really. Um, and then we're going to animate that line back to position zero, which is going to draw it. So now if we reverse this, we see the line animation effect that we wanted. There it is. So admittedly, it's not very intuitive to use these two properties, but once you figure out the technique, uh, figuring out how long your line is, making a dash that long, setting the offset to that same number, then animating the offset to zero, you can achieve this result in a fairly short amount of time. Please let us know if this was helpful and if you'd like to see better UI support for this feature in the future. Thanks.